Education should not tell students what to think. It should teach them how to think. And when it's done well, the student should learn to think for his or her whole life. Lifelong learners change the world. They are the secret to our future success. The Reed Springs School Foundation exists to help students continue their education post high school. One scholarship grant at a time, the world opens up and our community grows. Hi, my name is Brittany Knabel. My name is Carly Villa. Lucas McDaniel. Hi, I'm Dean Rogers. Elise Verheyen. My name is Jonathan Locke. I'm Mariah Merrick. My name is Josh Cherry. I graduated from Reed Spring High School in 2011. Reed Spring Class of 2012. I graduated in 2013. In 2013. Graduating Class of 2012. Graduated in 2013. Of 2012. And I attend Cornell University. Go to Baylor University. Well, currently I'm going to College of the Ozark. I go to Missouri Valley College. I am a junior at the University of Arkansas. I go to Arkansas Tech University in Russellville, Arkansas. I currently am going to College of the Ozarks. I'm currently going to Mizzou. The scholarship that I received is the Lions Club Foundation. I received the Dixie Stampede Literacy Scholarship. And I got the Trek Family Fun Park Foundation Scholarship for $3,000. I received the Sunlight Memorial Scholarship for $1,000. And the scholarship I received was the Andy's Frozen Custard $1,500 scholarship. And I received the Jan Kirsch Memorial Scholarship. So after my two years at Mizzou, I decided it wasn't a good fit for me. So I transferred to the College of the Ozarks, and I love where I'm at now. Um, and I chose Mizzou because they have the best journalism program in the country. And so I'm studying journalism. I chose the school I did because I heard that they had a new nursing program that was offered up and I have two friends that I grew up with go to school with me. Um, I actually chose Seville because it is a debt-free school. You work 15 hours a week there on campus. It pays for all tuition and um, I don't live on campus. I commute so I don't have to work the summer work program but I'm graduating completely debt-free with no bills. <laughs> Um, I chose the school I did because I wanted something different and wanted to push myself and I got a uh, pretty good scholarship from them and didn't want to turn it down. I chose Arkansas Tech because I received a baseball scholarship to play there. I just really enjoyed the school and the town that it was in. Um, I picked my school because when I visited I absolutely fell in love. Um, I think it's the most beautiful place in the world and I really love what I'm studying. Um, when I realized that I had received um, a scholarship from the foundation, um, I was standing on stage at graduation and I started crying and I looked in the crowd and I saw my mom. It was really amazing. So. Uh, it, it, was, it was awesome. I mean, it was definitely, it was humbling. I mean, it was, you know, every dollar counts whenever you're paying for something as expensive as a college education. Um, well, I found out at graduation on the stage and it was um, just such a relief and it was so exciting. Um, I was sitting next to two of my best friends and they had just gotten scholarships too and we were all just like shaking and holding hands but getting a scholarship really helped going to college um, happen for me. Uh, it actually took me by surprise because it was the last scholarship they gave out and no one really knew about it. They actually kept that one underneath, underneath the wraps really. And when they announced it everybody was kind of surprised including my family and my friends. I guess whenever I got the scholarship, I was just really thankful that I had the opportunity to get that. I never imagined getting anything like that in my life. When I received the scholarship, I was just really excited. I didn't really anticipate getting one. Uh, so, you know, any money that I received was just really, really exciting, very helpful for me. And I was very honored to be awarded with the scholarship because I was a Reed Spring student my entire career. and. Um, so it meant a lot for me to be honored by the uh, foundation in that way. Oh gosh, uh, financially college is very difficult. Um, last week, I think it was, I took out a loan for $18,000 um, <laughs> because I'm really poor and I wanted to study abroad. But uh, you know, college is manageable as long as you look for scholarships and you try really hard to, you know, actually do something. You can't just sit around and wait for it to come and fall in your lap. Um, going to college is expensive. Um, 
I think I have about $45,000 worth of loans right now to go to Mizzou. So that's, that'll get, that'll take forever to get paid back. Um, having a scholarship really helps, but definitely applying for every single dollar you can is awesome. I had my first year almost paid for and I still had that many loans for the next two and a half years. So it's a lot of it's tough. Um, after two years, I'm already, oh, I don't know, $20,000 in debt. Eat a lot of ramen. Learn how to, uh, to manage your finances pretty well. College is really expensive, um, mine in particular. Um, it's like 66000 a year, so pretty much any little bit helps. Um. College, at first, you have more money than normal people do. Freshmen tend to have all the money. But actually, once you get to be an upperclassman, you burn through most of your money. It turns out to actually be pretty hard. You're scrounging for food. Not too bad, but it's just you have to be smarter with your money than you're used to. Um, for CUVO, it depends on more so if you're going to live on campus or off campus. So for me, my financial is mostly in driving back and forth about 45 minutes each day. Um, so gas does add up and everything like that and taking care of more of stuff on the outside versus paying for tuition. But it's still a burden. You still have to work and stuff like that to get money for it. Receiving a scholarship from the Reed Spring Foundation was just an honor. It was really awesome to get a scholarship from our community, um, from the place I grew up and the people that I love and just, you know, know that my hard work was recognized and that someone saw it. It was awesome and it made going to college a lot easier. Um, when I realized that I had received a scholarship, it was amazing. It was kind of like a weight taken off my shoulders. The scholarship benefited me a lot. It really helped out with my first semester of schooling to really just not have to take out any loans and help my parents out a lot because they're helping with, with tuition as well. The scholarship has benefited me a lot just because I'm paying for school myself um, and Mizzou is a very expensive school so four thousand dollars really helped me my freshman year with housing and living and it was really good for me. I used my scholarship money for tuition. So um, I got the Dan Kirsch Scholarship from Bill Kirsch, and it was $2,500, so I used that toward my first year of tuition. I spent my scholarship money on tuition. It all went to tuition. All of it, yeah. Well, I went to the University of Missouri in Columbia for two years, and so initially, right out of high school, I had a lot of student debt and a lot of loans that I had to take out, and so I use that money uh, right, basically right away to pay for my part of my tuition and even a little bit of my books. So, uh, The scholarship money went right to classes for my first year and just what it was for. Uh, the scholarships helped me so much my first year of college. Uh, it provided all my art supplies that I needed and it went on to my second semester too so that helped a ton as well. Uh, my scholarship money went straight to Mizzou, so it was used for my tuition, housing, anything that wasn't covered with um, any other scholarship or loan that I got. Um, I currently actually am looking for grad schools right now. I plan to go to ASU, hopefully, and get my Master of Fine Arts. Um, I'm majoring in um, industrial and labor relations, so I plan on working for the government uh, in a department or agency someday. Well, um, I have two more years of undergrad, so I'm going to finish up a Bachelor of Education in Speech Pathology, and then I'm going to graduate school to become a speech pathologist. I want to work with um, geriatric patients, stroke patients, and older people. Uh, I plan to be an eighth grade science teacher, preferably. Uh, it would be nice to come back to this area and teach, but the schools around Russellville I've kind of fallen in love with. They have a lot of schools that remind me of Reed Spring and it's just a fun place to be. I'm studying recreational administration with a business minor. Um, I am going to major in finance and accounting and hopefully become a financial analyst for a bank or investment firm. Um, well, I plan to be a photojournalist, uh, either for, you know, outside magazine or 
a different organization company where I get to just travel the world and take pictures. I'm really, I just like having fun. <laughs> I am a city art graphic design major, also with another emphasis in painting. It was awesome and it was also horrible. Um, I had, my best friend was my roommate, so it was really fun. Uh, we had a lot of, a lot of great stories, but um, it was a lot more freedom and a lot different than coming from such a small town, going to such a big school with so many different people and it was so diverse. We had, I had never been around so much cultural diversity or kids from um, different socioeconomic statuses than ours. It was just, a really cool learning experience and also kind of a culture shock. Um, I miss my family a lot. I miss homemade food and real showers and communal bathrooms kind of suck. But other than so. Going away as a freshman wasn't very hard at all because I still lived at home. So I still got to go back home. It's just like just going to a new school pretty much. <laughs> uh, I actually enjoyed it a lot because I went to a university that nobody else from Reed Spring has ever gone to and nobody from Reed Spring came there with me. So it was a lot of fun to meet a whole different type of culture of people being from out of state. Uh, going away to school wasn't too bad. I actually had my best friend with me um, and she was my roommate from Reed Spring. And so it was really nice to kind of have her it made the transition really easy. And I just really, really loved Mizzou, really loved the people there. So it wasn't too bad. Um, going away to school as a freshman was amazing. Um, I did move a thousand miles away and I wouldn't change it for anything. It's incredible. Um, it was different. It was, it was a cool experience. I mean, it, you know, you get homesick a little bit at first, but I, I definitely recommend spreading your wings if you get the chance. I think it's awesome. I think it's one of the best programs that uh, Missouri high schools can offer. I think it's awesome. I think all the seniors should apply. Um, not very many schools do this for their students. Not everyone gets scholarships from their schools or get the opportunity for people to raise money for them. So it's kind of up to the community to raise as much money as they can to send these kids off every year. And my grade got a ton of money and it helped. I think there were probably 10 or 15 students in my class that got scholarships and everyone is very grateful and very deserving of them. So it really helped everyone kind of get where we wanted to go and have a little bit of the stress taken off of trying to pay for college. I think it's amazing um, how much Reed Spring gives back to its students um, and how much it supports us. I actually am, am really proud to say that I came from Reed Spring. The school district does a lot for its students and it's actually a, a great school despite what a lot of people think why they go here. It is a very nice school and they do a lot for their students. I think it's wonderful. I love the school here, 13 years senior, so I've been here my entire life. Um, Really, it's just about who you're with and the people you surround yourself with, and we have a great community and family here at this school, and I think it's just great that they're able to give back to us as much as we gave to them. Uh, well, I love Reed Spring School. I was here K through 12, and um, I really had no bad experiences here, and I think that it's absolutely amazing that they give back to their students. Beginning in 2011, the Reed Springs School Foundation began granting 10 scholarships. Each year, more and more students benefit from the result of passionate fundraising and community support. Students have gone on to enter dedicated fields of study, prepare for graduate school, study abroad, and enter the workforce. The world grows one mind and one heart at a time. Windows open, life becomes bigger. Be a part of something positive. Change the world. Support the Reed Springs School Foundation.